Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of our brand new stream encoder and decoder, the all-in-one. It's the BG-Stream-DE. This one can do a lot. Uh, it could take encoding, so it can encode any sort of a, like HDMI camera and encode it into any sort of network stream like a, a NDI source, Dante, RTSP. So if you're looking to um, encode that into your network you can do that or decode if you have a like a Dante NDI or even a network stream if you're looking to display on an HDMI monitor this can do it as well some of the other features this allows uh, there's multiple inputs it has HDMI input as well as SDI input so if you have an SDI camera or an HDMI camera you can input that and it exports outputs over HDMI into a monitor uh, also there's two loop outs so if you're looking to view that on a local end you can has SDI loop out as well well as HDMI loop out. So just the additional feed. It also has some audio embedding and de-embedding. So you're looking to embed your audio source into the stream. You can do that with the line in. Or if you're looking to extract the audio that's already going through to like an external audio sound system that has a line out. Also, if you're looking to record uh, your stream or anything that you're displaying on your monitor, on your output, on your output, this has a recorder, so whatever, just connect a USB thumb drive and adjust the settings in the web and you're good to go. Lastly, you can also take a media player, like a video file, and decode that over HDMI as well into here. Uh, but today we're just going to do a little overview on how the web works and uh, maybe take an RTSP stream, uh, decode that, and take another RTSP stream uh, and actually create an RTSP stream from like an HDMI camera. Um, so first things first, let's go over our setup as you can see we have our setup here with multiple cameras we have two of our Damo cameras we have our BG Adamo Jr. Uh, just the Dante version as well as our uh, BG Adamo 4k non anything version no NDI no Dante uh, but you could do multiple streams today we're mostly gonna be focusing on our the big camera there uh, utilizing the, the RTSP streams um, and I just had the HDMI going out of that camera as uh, I want to encode this so I'm gonna put that into the encoder and uh, put that into um, the web and so you can decode it over the uh, the monitor and uh, I have everything else connected over a network I have my laptop the cameras uh, and also the the stream DE also all connected to a local unmanaged switch it's all connected to our local network uh, what's great about this unit it comes DHCP enabled so it will automatically assign an IP address from your network to the unit so as long as everything's connected together it'll um, you'll search for it you can either um, plug it in and uh, reset it and it'll display on the monitor eventually you'll get the IP address or if you could do a network scan use the MAC address on it or um, if you know your network you can look for that as well so I know that was a mouthful but let's go ahead and dive into the web GUI and see how everything works all right, so first let's go ahead and log into the unit using the IP address through a network scan. I found it is 192.168.10.148. And here we go. Username is admin and actually password is four zeros. One, two, three, four. And there we go, we are in. And so you can see on the first main tab here is all of our sources. You're looking to embed or decode, or sorry, encode or decode. For example, I have my HDMI. I had that already connected, so I'm gonna hit apply. And then if I go to stat, oh, showed up already. Sometimes it might need a reset. I think I already, uh, when I was setting this up, I already applied it. The first time you activate your HDMI source, you'll have to reboot the unit. But you can see right here on the status page, um, we have our HDMI already coming in from my camera, 1080p 60, and it's reading that source well. Um, if I had an SDI source connected, um, I, can, uh, I can switch over to that. Same with a video file um, or a UVC camera. This one is actually um, it correlates with one another unit uh, this is uh, something else uh, using one of our stream D or stream E additional devices uh, so you don't have to worry about that one as much unless you're, you're specifically going down that route and here is where you can extract your NDI source 
And uh, there's other videos on how to utilize the NDI as well as the Dante. But today we're just going to focus on the RTSP stream. There's an overview of, of the box here. So if I wanted to um, pull NDI source, I do that right here. IP stream will come back to here. I kind of already was testing some stuff earlier, um, but we'll come back to that. And then as, as well as Dante, if you want to embed as your, your source, your HDMI camera and as a Dante source, so you can do that right there. Um, all right, here in your encoder settings, so if you're looking to adjust, you can uh, change your resolution of the encode stream, frame rate, um, bit rate, and this is, this is huge right here. You can switch between H2.64 or H.265 um, if you're looking to uh, embed that, encode that that way. And then you can just see what a lot of other options here, even some audio options. I'm gonna back up real quick up to the audio source. So this is how you switch between where, how you want your audio source. If you're using the embedded audio source from your like HDMI source, you can keep it right there, just hit apply. If you wanna use the line in, you just like line in, hit apply and then it'll switch the audio from your um, source that you're um, uh, externally plugging in. Here we go, let's go to the next tab here is record. If you're looking to record onto a flash drive, so go ahead and you'll just put the like a little flash drive into the thumb drive in the back, or excuse me, in the front, and just you can put your, you get your video type settings, you can name your file, and you could uh, choose if you want video or audio, and then you can select the, uh, the time, for, time frame of it as well. Really easy to use. And there's a sub encoder as well if you're looking to do that as well. Streaming. This is where you will embed or en encode. So if I want to take um, my HDMI source and I want to change it into, I want to turn it into like a network stream. This is the page to do it. You select what type of stream you're going to do. Uh, we'll do this in, this in a minute here. Uh, we'll do RTSP stream, but if you're looking to change your camera into an, or Im embed it into, encode it into an NDI feed or RTMP, Dante, so forth, it's all right here. Here's all the ports. And you can do a substream as well. Snapshot, if you want to take a photo, you can do that of your screen and then it'll automatically go to the thumb drive. Uh, monitor, here's a good thing to, uh, if you're looking to extract to a monitor, or not extract, but uh, want to uh, line up the highest resolution um, to your monitor outputting to, I just turn on audio, auto output and hit apply. It'll reboot. So that way you're providing the highest and I refresh it. So we have a 4K monitor um, and there you go. And here is where you adjust the, the volume on your HDMI embedded audio or your output. You can just, with the slider, turn it up or down. Um, image processing, it allows you to change the image parameters on your output, pretty straightforward. Network settings, if, like I said, this is DACP enabled, um, but the default IP address, if it's on static, is uh, 192.160.1.200. But if you're looking to um, just create your own static, you can do that as well. And then basic system settings if you want to change your device name I don't know why you would but if you like to you go ahead um, storage if you have this is what reads your storage device your USB thumb drive firmware update factory set change your uh, username and password and then um, you can have a timeout um, like a sleep sleep timer on if you want and if you're looking to uh, rotate the image on the screen uh, you can do that as well for example I could do a 180 flip it upside down really cool feature if you're if you're if you're, if you're Having to be part of a video wall and you need to flip the TVs over, you can do that. Um, and then here's your status when it went over. So that's a quick overview. As you can see, it's pretty straight. Uh, it's, everything's pretty laid, laid out pretty clear. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and do a... Um, I'm going to take an RTSP stream from my camera here. And uh, I select that as a source and then I'll export it. Here, I'm going to actually... So you can show, I have SDI, which there's no signal from the SDI, so I'm gonna to go to IP stream. So this is the RTSP, RTSP from our HD, HDMI camera. And then just by putting the RTSP stream, I hit apply. 
and it'll switch over pretty quickly and boom there you go I know it's the same camera um, but that is not, not, not that's not just the direct HDMI feed that's the RTSP stream so if, if let's say your cameras at a distance um, if you're looking to get it onto a monitor locally your cameras like you're at a church or something your cameras mounted across the room school or whatever and you want to bring the RTSP stream not just into your computer but if you're looking to extract it to the monitor that's how you do it right there um, so on the opposite end, let's go ahead and, oh, also, if I wanted to switch between RTSP streams, like I said, I have a second camera here. I'm gonna just take that RP, IP address of my little Dante camera there, that Dalma Jr., and I know the IP address is that, so I'm just gonna hit apply, and it, it should switch the feeds. And there you go, there's, there's the second feed, just pointed at our little decoration in our plant there. Beautiful. So that's how you decode the RTSP streams. Now let's go ahead and encode one of the uh, this camera to create your own RTSP stream if it didn't have it. Obviously these cameras already have it, but these are the best we have because uh, they're amazing. And so we're gonna use it. So I'm gonna go to streaming. Main encoder, I'm gonna do RTSP stream. I'm gonna hit apply just to confirm. And then just to turn it on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So now I have it going. So I'm gonna bring, now I could bring this into my computer. I'll just use like something like VLC to show the RTSP stream. And what's nice, it actually provides you a link right here when you turn it on. Let's just copy and paste this right here. Media, network stream, as you can see, we've been using it before. Hit play. And there it is. That is our stream right there. Because I'm selecting that as our main source here. So actually, so that's pretty cool. It, it's actually taking the RTSP, <laughs> it's still taking the RTSP, RT, RTSP stream of the other camera as a source and it's actually exporting it as RTSP stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick. So I'm gonna make, I forgot to go back to HDMI. I'm gonna hit apply. Now the stream should change. There it is. Okay, now it's taking the HDMI stream of HDMI output encoding into RTSP stream and going into VLC. So as you can see, that was pretty easy. I know it went over a lot, um, but you can take an RTSP stream or make an RTSP stream. And we also have other videos, like I mentioned, on how to create an NDI or decode an NDI into HDMI so as, as well as Dante or other network streaming protocols. As always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but we'd love to hear how we can help you if you have any issues with networking or um, any troubleshooting that may be, you can hit us up at support. Love to help you get over those speed bumps. Or if you wanna know how this could be a great fit or figure out how uh, this might be the missing piece for your environment, your ecosystem of either encoding or decoding, talk to one of our sales associates. So they're experts on this stuff. So they'll love to help you uh, uh, get you moving along there and give you some ideas. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. As always, have a great day.